Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Neon Genesis Evangelion Asuka Langley made by Medicom Toys. Now this actually was released about 2006 so let me take a look at this. Actually I'm going to do the size comparison because she's really difficult to stand up. So this is Lin Min Mei from Robotech and she, she's more of a Barbie doll as you can see. She's about 11 inches tall, uh, about a, little, a little over 11 inches, about 28 centimeters here. So, we'll take your word for it. So, she's in about a scale, about a 12 inch figure. She's about 1 6 scale, and this is a 6 inch figure over here she spawned. So, you can kind of tell already. So, let's go ahead, take that off, and remove that. Let me show you the box over here. The box isn't that descriptive. Uh, it's a plain white, black, and white box. Uh, the figure is really nice. You can see on uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. And it made by, there's the Gainax here, the movie that made that, or the studio that did that. Her bio here in the front, and of course I just removed all that so that's all good. Here's the side of the box and a very descript Neon Genesis of Anglian. And this is actually from the Real Action Hero seri series of Medicom toys and you can see me in the background there. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> but anyhow, let me show you the figure. Real Action Heroes, this is the line that I was talking about, a very articulated, very articulated figure. Uh, Real Action Hero is actually more articulated, but let me show you real quick. Very good detailing. I love the little blue eyes here. Wish they had more figures. I wish that their hair was more like a Barbie dolls like I have in Lin May May here, which I don't know, suffers from whitewashing, but oh well. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here we go. Asuka Longley. She has a color variation in her strawberry blonde hair. I love the different folds of the hair in the back it actually moves i wish it definitely good for posing in that sense her head is on a ball joint so i'm not sure if the neck is on a ball joint because i don't know if i can remove this real quick but as far as articulation you got the head the shoulder doesn't move in and out or it doesn't have a shoulder point over here but it does have a ball joint so it can move in and out side to side bicep swivel as you can see double jointed elbow wrist is on a ball joint and as you can see they the, the wrist can be interchanged and I'll show you a little bit about that later. It has a ab crunch, waist swivel, the hip is on a ball joint, also has a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and I don't think, yeah, the ball joint on the ankle and a swivel point as well. So it has good articulation. One thing I don't like is that the feet aren't flat and it makes it difficult to stand. That's why I wanted to do the size comparison in the beginning. So very good articulation, very good poses, just like you can see, and keep popping out the wrist. Which is one thing I wanted to also, also add is that one thing I don't like about this is that the package only comes with an extra pair of fists. That is it. I wish it had like more weapons. And as expensive as this is, this thing cost originally about 130 bucks plus back in the day. So I was really disappointed at that. I mean, it's an awesome looking figure. It has great detail, beautiful figures. I mean, it has the faux leather or the faux PVC or whatever this, uh, this uh, yeah, the faux leather over here, plastic on the hinges over here on the shoulders. So it has a great amount of detailing. There's no doubt about that. I mean, it's a beautiful looking figure. But if it were half the price, it would be awesome. It would be a 9 out of 10. But as it is, I can't see paying 130 bucks, especially with the yen rate. Yen rate probably closer to 150 nowadays. Well, YouTubers, that's all I got. I'll give a rating about 7 out of 10. And I'll catch you all next time.